Paranormal South Africa is shot on a low budget by people with low self-esteem and an even lower IQ. Because we'll be leaving at the crack of dawn to film our new assignment, Stanley was good enough to give me some breakfast. Crack of dawn? It's nearly 11 o'clock, more like the crack of noon. Simon, why is the dog growling? Probably because you're eating from his bowl. <laughs> This week we're investigating a story that Samuel found on the dark web. It's just that I can't see a thing. Sharon, I don't see a thing. Is. Oh Lord, talk about the blind leading the blind. Ah, much better. Thanks, Steve. It's the finals. One thing you'll find everywhere in South Africa is car guards. Go and park your car anywhere. Shopping center, uh, restaurant, the side of the road, highway, bushveld, anywhere. And someone will show up offering to guard your car for the remainder of your journey for a nominal compensation. But Sharon tells me if a it's rumor the that in a nearby shopping center is a ghostly car guard keeping watch over the surroundings. When you go there, he's nowhere to be seen. Not when you enter, not when you go to get your shopping. Not when you come back with your eight bags all stretched under your one arm as you fumble for your keys in your one remaining pocket. But rest assured, as soon as you sit down and you're ready to leave, he'll be there, ready for his tip. And that, my loyal viewers, is what we're going to check out right now. I'm here in the parking lot that Stanley told it's me the about, and I must say, it's utterly deserted. I won't lie, I'm not totally certain what is happening there, but it was definitely unnerving. That's all for this episode, but thank you very much for having been with me in this journey. Please be sure to like, 
and share this video. And above all, subscribe to this channel. So maybe I can afford my own ball. This is Sebastian de Souza signing off. I still don't understand this dark web thing.